Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, let's see how you can install the OC CLI tool from the Linux platform. In the previous video, we have seen how you can do the same from the Windows platform, right? So in this video, let's see how you can do from the Linux operating system. Okay, so I have already created an instance, the Linux instance from a Google Cloud platform. You can take any sort of instances from any sort of cloud provider, or you can have it in your local virtual box also, so that it, we just need a Linux machine, right? Okay, so just let me log into that machine. Yep. So this was an Ubuntu machine, I guess. So that's fine. Any machine will work for us because we just need a Linux platform just to install uh, our OC tool. Uh, let's give it a minute so that we can have the SSH complete. Okay. And uh, then we can have your bind is downloaded and we can see how you can do that from the Linux platform. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the meanwhile, let me go and uh, bring you the binaries for the Linux platform. Okay, uh, let's go for open shift release binaries the same way uh, which we do did for the uh, Windows platform. We can go for the same GitHub repository where you can have all your releases, binaries and all, uh, not this one. Uh, okay. Release binary. This was the one. Open shift origin part where you will have all your releases and all. So let me go for the 3.10. Let me see if I was able to. Okay. So in the meanwhile, let me do that. Uh, okay. I was being logging into that machine. Okay. And uh, let me go for the release 3.1, uh, 3.10. And if you go down a bit, uh, you can see all your binaries. In the previous video, we had it for the Windows platform. As now we are doing it for the Linux. Let me get the Linux ones and make sure again, I'm telling you, like make sure you are, you download the client part rather than the origin one. Okay, so copy this link address. And uh, as you there's nothing presently in my machine. Let me do that. Okay, it was WGate was not there. Okay, that's fine. Apt. Let me install that. Okay. That's fine. It got installed. And now let me download this file. Okay. And uh, yeah, if you see the OpenShift uh, tar file has been downloaded into my Linux machine. Let me untar it. Okay, and if you see here, I have my OpenShift folder. Yeah, OpenShift origin client tool 3.10. And let me cd into that. And you can see I'm having a file by name OC. In the previous video also, we have seen the OC file, right? I mean, the OC application, it's a binary file where you, it is useful for your uh, installations and all. I mean, if you want to interact with your cluster. For example, if, if you enter OC here, okay, OC command not found, right? And if I enter OC hyphen version, still the OC was not installed, right? So let's do one thing and um, let me move this OC file into the USR uh, bin folder, okay? Because the, the USR bin was already been taken care by my path so that all my, all my binaries can be moved to there. And now if I enter the same command like OC version, Right, you can see all the commands are getting executed. That means OpenShift to interact to my cluster. I have my OC already been installed in my Linux platform. And now, uh, now I need to get how many pods am I get? Am I running? For example, this was my cluster, and if you see, there is a project, right? Uh, my project, and there is a pod running, the test pod. So from my command line, I need to see uh, where I, I mean, how many pods am I? are there in my cluster. So in order to do that, I need to authenticate to my cluster, right? So I can't uh, directly fetch the results. First, I need to authent authenticate to my cluster. And after that only, I can fetch the details. So for that, the command is OC login, okay? You need to enter the server create server host URL. In my case, it is this one, okay? Let me enter that. And uh, it was asking for the insecure connection because if you see here, it was not authenticated completely. It was a not secure connection. That's fine. I will be giving yes. And it'll authenticate, it'll ask for the username. And uh, this depends upon your uh, company to company, right? And if you're using some sort of uh, um, LLAP or MSID authentication center, you'll be giving your user ID passwords. 
and uh, I'm giving my developer as a username and the password I'm entering here. And now it was saying login successful and you have only one project on this server, the my project, right? And uh, now if I enter the OC get pods command, I'll be getting the test 198548 pod, which is the running pod in my OpenShift cluster. Okay. If you see, this was the one. So this was very easy, guys, because the OC command, OC tool, we use a very huge in the day-to-day -day basis, okay, uh, in order to communicate to the cluster. So I just want to show you how you can do the same from the Windows platform as well as in the Linux platform so that you'll be getting a good understanding on the various tools, okay? So yeah, that's it for the video. If you have been, if you like the video, you can share to your friends and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't did that so that you can get the latest updates from my channel. See you again in the next video. Bye for now.